guys, today I thought I would do a review of the Joanna Basford adult colouring book Enchanted Forest. This is the second book from Joanna Basford. The first is The Secret Garden, which I already have, and The Lost Ocean, which is the one that's recently out, which is the only one I haven't got. Um, this book is absolutely beautiful. Um, as you can see from the cover, it's got basically a forest theme so there's a lot of leaves a lot of flowers um, and the from cover as you can see has these gold details on um, again like the secret garden um, the cover itself opens out the sleeve itself opens out and basically you have this gigantic um, print to colour in now <clears throat> I don't know whether it's personally my copy that I I got um, or whether it's a problem with a lot of these copies but I have found that the binding is absolutely rubbish. Um, I know this copy itself, um, I think if I can find it, I think it was bound um, differently than her original book, The Secret Garden. But I got this from Waterstones and as you can see the binds coming away and that's just peed me off to be honest with you. But you know it hasn't stopped my enjoyment of the book. So the cover itself, like the Secret Garden book, is basically this brown colour with this pattern on. So if you wanted to colour this in, you know you could. <coughs> um first front page as you can see I've started to um colour in um, all the pages you can colour in if you wish. Um, I'm only halfway through this. Um, so this is basically just the title page, a name, a chanted forest, an inky quest and colouring book. Then you've got this here which again you can colour in and put your name on if you so wish. Um, then it's sort of like a treasure hunt, an inky quest she calls it. So hidden inside these books are all these symbols here um, and then it tells you you know can you solve the quest of the enchanted forest so as well as calling in you've got a little quest to look for and little hidden symbols as well <clears throat> so then you've got a map which you can see I haven't coloured in yet um, and then the pages start so I'll just go through a few pages with you and show a few that I've actually coloured in um, a lot of double spreads like this. Um, I have actually coloured in. I'll see if I can find some. I've started colouring this one. Um, this is a double spread that I've personally coloured in. Um, I prefer using felt tip pens to um, pencils. Um, I did start using pencils um, on one of the spreads. I don't think. I don't think it was this one. It might have been a secret garden, but I didn't like it. Um, so, yeah, so um, it is one that I've started. Fairly easy one. Some of them, you know, are fairly quite simple, like you've got this type, but then some of them are very more detailed. Um, I know this one took me quite a while um, to colour in. <clears throat> Um, one thing that I absolutely love about this book, if I can find it, is you've got this page here. And it says, turn the page to discover what's hidden inside the castle. So if you open it up, again you can call this page in, but then you've got this beautiful double spread of this um, dragon. I have actually started colouring in this dragon here. This is going to take me absolute ages. Um, so just go show you some other detail that can go into, you know, calling this dragon, this page, especially all the leaves. Um, so, so yeah, so that's, that's uh, the book. Then at the end it shows you where to find all the different symbols and what you can look for, like in this picture, an owl, a squirrel. Um, in this picture, if I can read it, two arrows, one owl, one deer and one mouse. Um, yeah, so that is my um, book review for Enchanted Forest. Absolutely love it. Loved colouring in. Um, I'll just, sorry about the hand, 
grab the pens that I use just over here um, I like using these um, Crayola pens um, as well and I like using like thin uh, filter pens to colour in I find that it's very therapeutic um, if you haven't tried it out guys I would definitely go and purchase this book so I hope you all enjoyed your Christmas holidays guys I shall love you and leave you and I shall see you all soon bye